this move is about these two I have better to put them together so when you're running this scripts you'll not be working with a standard i3 you're standing with gaps next or git or, or different names i see different names popping up so next gap and so on but basically it has, has gaps so this here is a gap and you can say i have an inner gap of zero and an outer gap of zero and we press ctrl s windows shift r and this is the way it normally should look well almost meaning there are no gaps there is nothing behind the programs you can't see the wallpaper behind it so the border pixel is 5 if I press this to be 0 Control S Windows Shift R then it's actually the way it should be no borders just going collated without any pixel in between one program another program next to each other So you see no borders in between. Luckily I have this Compton effect so you can see which one is focused. So didn't like that. I wanted to have something more. Well, something more. So Windows Shift Q, Windows Shift Q, and let's go back and change everything back where it was. Control Z, Control Z, Control Z. That's this as option. Again and E, Windows Shift R. This is how I like my settings. And you can have smart gets gaps on. What does that do? Windows Control S, Windows Shift R. Smart gap is thinking, oh look, but this is the only program there is. So I will not make a gap. The same here, I will not make a gap. But when I do Windows Enter, it says, ah, two programs next to each other, then I'll make a gap. And only then, and that's what the smart gaps is all about. He thinks, if there are only one of them, I won't give the gaps. So that's smart gaps on. And smart borders on is the same. Control S, Windows Shift R no borders here as you can see and windows uh, enter gives you a border windows shift q no borders here so both of them i think for me what i want i want them both to be sorry always the same Windows Shift R. I want to always to show the borders. I want always to show the gaps. So I leave these two off, but there is an option to do it. Next up is this one. It's now dark gray with white text. I do think it's still open, yes. So I have this Arch i3 GitHub thing, and you'll see I have similar code in this as well. And I've been experimenting with a lot of colors. So this is red background, black text and so on, blue, green, orange text, blue background with white text. What is all this? These are alternative possibilities that you can get, that you can make yourself, that you can find on the internet and eh? third parties, it's from somebody else. I found it, I copy pasted it and I just put hashtags in front. So if I want to change the colors of my i3 system, I can. And I can do quickly without uh, making too much fuss. Um, where were we? We were explaining this. So this is the way things look. Mm -hmm. So I can change the border, the background, the text and indicators. Client placeholder, client background, the focused, unfocused, the focused, inactive and the client urgent. So these are colors we can change. You can copy paste them from the website right here. And um, well, maybe it's a good thing to do this exercise. What I'll do is the following. I'll make a config, control C, control V. 
So I have a backup. And then I'll grab some codes from the net. Mm, maybe I like this one. Blue black ground with white text. I copy paste codes rather than figuring out all the hexadecimal codes myself. I'll just copy it over like this. Control V. I have to delete this line, this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing. So now it's active. Control S. If it's a bit looking strange, no problem. It will understand. But let's load, load it and see what happens. So Control S to be sure. Windows Shift Reload. And it has this bluish color behind here. As you can see, and um, not focused is gray. Unfocused client urgent, I have no client urgent. Inactive focus, the background color is this kind of color. So this is this is what happens. You change the color, you can change the color for the border, for instance, FF000. And then Windows Shift, no, for save and Windows Shift R. And things should be changing. I changed the border with the client focus. Let's change here some more, something else so we can see something. Just try it out and you'll figure it out what is what is what. You can see here that this is red, this is now blue, this is red this is blue so elements can change um, it's up to you to figure out via this easy way I change everything to red and I see oh that's that's that part and that's that part I can figure out which is which all right so this gives colors um, one last go maybe let's figure out something else see something else red black text let's do this one copy see if this is nicer and let's get the code to work control s windows shift r this is red kind of look and blue here if you press an extra now we have the red red it's the way you want it um, you can change a lot of colors around. We have 16 million colors to choose from. And that's up to you to figure out which colors you like. All right.